Well, yeah, Bob. Comic Con. Yeah. We're San Diego there. Comic Con is now. We are not there, but they're already so announcing news. And one of them being Back to the Future is getting a comic. What? <laughs> That's right, folks. The second or third. It's dusty. It is. Hell. It looks like blood stains on it. I don't want to know what that is. <laughs> That's, but yes, the second it's or bits. third greatest movie trilogy of all time, depending on who you ask, is getting its own comic series. It will be written by Bob Gale, who was one of the original writers on Back to the Future. Really? Yes. Um, it was him and Robert Zemeckis. So if it's not one, it's got to be the other. So it's going to be put out by IDW, who's done great licensed comics. Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, um, Gem and the Holograms, Transformers, G.I. Joe. Great, great stuff. Um, it's, How did they get these licenses? They're just good, I guess. Um, so the plot of the comic is actually, I think, the most interesting part. Because the, the trilogy is pretty much closed. You can't really do anything after Back to the Future 3. So what they're doing is they're filling in gaps and inconsistencies. What it's So things like... How did Doc and Marty meet? How did things happen in the original timeline before uh, Marty went back and screwed things up? How did things happen in the alternate timeline from Back to the Future 2? Like, how did Biff kill George McFly? You know, things like that. Mm. Um, that's what the that's what the comic is going to focus on. I like that. Yeah, this is um, this is interesting, and it's going to go into. A little bit more on Doc's backstory. Like, apparently he was part of the Manhattan Projects. <coughs> That's amazing. Uh, yeah. Hey, go up. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is amazing. Yeah, that, this is... Uh, I'll put it down here. The uh, the promo art they put out for it. Um, uh, now, I... From our last video, you know that I have a giant backlog. Yes. <laughs> and I haven't been reading comics in forever. I would throw all that backlog out and, and start reading. Yeah, I, I've, I've been talking about how I'm trying to pare down my pull list, and nope, this is going right on there. Because it's not often you get a Back to the Future comic, and it's even... Not often you get a Back to the Future story, like, at all. Yeah, I mean, Back we've had the animated series from the 90s, which doesn't count because everything got an animated series back then. Uh, there was the Telltale game, which... Um, I heard wasn't... The story wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible. It got off the rails mighty quickly. Yeah. Um, in that. Um, but other than that, and I don't think any of those... Like, Bob Gale was a consultant on the Telltale game. He wasn't, like, the writer. This one, he's actually, like, pen in pants writing the story. He's doing it with um, Eric Burnham, who uh, helped... Who did Ghostbusters for IDW, and John Barber, who did Transformers for IDW. That's probably just to help help Bob Gale get into um, the flow of IDW's uh, comic format. Because Bob Gale's done comics before. He did a Spider-Man run. He did a Batman run. Was uh, it good? Batman 1 was pretty good. The Spider-Man 1, I've heard mixed things on. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is exciting times. Um, this wasn't something I thought I wanted until, until it happened. Until it happened. <laughs> yeah. How did they did they announce this at an IDW panel or something or did they just like put it online? Like, no, hey, they, they just they just put it online because, I mean, Comic Con at the time of this recording is Wednesday. Comic Con starts on Thursday, so there really wasn't time to, like for panels and stuff. So they right. just announced that it had a Comic Con. That's amazing. Yeah, uh, the Star Wars comics are doing really well. Star Wars comics yeah. are doing that incredibly well. Them to do this, um, probably, uh, and because it's the year. It's back the thirtieth anniversary. Back. Yeah, there's to the not future. enough Back to the Future stuff happening right no. now. No. And um, as I believe Back to the Future issue one will come out on October twenty first, which is the day Marty comes goes to the future. The first issue is gonna yes, come out the that first day? issue is gonna come out on the day Marty goes to the I future. Think, Back to the Future two. I would think they would have some stuff leading up to that. Yeah, some comics leading up to that. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, I mean, they they need time to work on it. I yeah, guess. that's gonna trust me. That's gonna be a big day like you're gonna see so much back to the future stuff it's gonna make you'll you see sick. you'll see some back to the future stuff right here i'll tell you that oh yeah <laughs> you yeah. what yeah get, get get pumped for that um so yeah i don't think i mean i don't know how long this series is gonna last I, it's definitely gonna be a limited series i don't know if i'd want to see anything else beyond this what you mean like other like uh sides 
stories, like micro series, right? Yeah, because like how much of Back to the Future can you tell? Like Back to the Future is a I very want, closed. I'm really series. happy with how it ended. Yeah. A lot of people hate, hate, hate the ending of Back to the Future Three. <sighs> I think they missed the point. It, I mean, it looks 3. really stupid, but it, uh, like I get it. Yeah, 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 no. I mean, the end of Back to the Future Three. You know, it, it's a hard ending. Yeah. So. Which I'm totally cool. I think that's awesome. Yeah. But I th- I think this is a perfect way to go into it to ha- to have to just fill in the blanks. Yeah. Which you know there are a lot of blanks in Back to the Future. Yeah. Because you know time travel it'll do that. To and you. They, they just make like like a graphic novel series. Or, yeah. Or, or like they do their series maybe like twelve issues or something and then cut it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I don't I don't see this. Uh, Honestly, this is going beyond twelve issues. Yeah, to be honest, um, maybe do it for a year and then. Yeah, that'll be that'll be good. So now that Back to the Future is becoming a comic, is there anything you want to see become a comic? Any movie that you love that you think deserves either a comic spinoff or a comic uh, retelling? Um, well, we have seen Ghostbusters. We've seen Ghostbusters. A lot. There's yeah. a lot of IDW Ghostbusters. Yeah. And, and people didn't think it was that big of a deal when they started making those. Because I guess there's a lot of Ghostbusters. Yeah, stories. I mean, there's there's a cartoon. Everybody loves a cartoon. But the Ghostbusters comics are actually pretty good. We're seeing Fight Club. Already, yes. Which I heard is like, okay. I'm enjoying it. Yeah? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Because right, that has a definitive ending. Right. And it's, you know, and it makes sense the way they're doing it. But I can see like why people does are it upset feel like about a it. cash grab? No, no, no. It feels like it feels like Fight Club. It feels like proper Fight Club. Ah, uh, good. So because that that's what I mean. That's what yeah. I want. <laughs> uh, uh, Star. We have Star. Wars. We have Star Wars comics. Star Wars is happening. Yeah, Star I mean, Wars is important. Yeah. There's so much to tell in the Star Wars universe. Though. Yeah, that that'll never end. Uh, I'm trying to think. We don't get enough Indiana Jones comics. Right. Yeah. I mean, there's, we there's not, Marvel put that. some out when they first got the license, and Dark Horse had a couple. But never really, never really enough. Like never on the same level as like Star Wars, and that's all universe with a whole lot of stories to tell. You know, what pisses me off. Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Never has good stories. They have comics. Yeah. To be honest, I haven't read it. I read the first one. <laughs> I heard it there's was, a comic out there that's good for. I, I think it's called The Fall. It's actually yeah, pretty good. That's the one that I heard was, yeah. was really good. But they're really screwing up with that story. That story could be so good. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited for. More Back to the Future. Anything that will enhance the story, not like change. I don't think it's going to change anything, but I think it'll just make you know be interesting to see this this other side. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I think it doesn't universe. look like there's any new characters or anything. No, yeah. no, it looks like it's going to be everyone you know. And that splash movies. image is just the trilogy. Yeah, so so it's it's definitely familiar stuff. Yep. This thing's so dirty. I know. We disgusting. We need to take better care this of this. This was $100. I know. This is a, such a waste of money. <laughs> it's such cheap plastic. Yeah. Like you, you can hear it. And it's supposed to make sounds, but the screws for the battery pack are stripped, so we can never get into it. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, my God. They are stripped. Yeah. It's such a piece of shit. Uh, this is... Didn't I have to pre-order this? Yeah. They made such a big deal about it. It was like then... They, like, kickstarted it almost. Yeah, and then it came, and everybody was pissed because it's. I'd say, it, it, I, this is like maybe like a forty dollar thing. I can make a whole it's video heavy. about how I'm mad at the way Mattel has been doing action figures recently, but that's. I mean, it looks and feels like like it like a like a toy. Like yeah. it should, but it shouldn't have been a hundred bucks. Right. Anyway, what do you guys think about Back to the Future and this whole IDW spiel? And if there are any other comics, you, any other movies you think IDW should make comics about, let us know down below or literally anywhere on the internet. Also, there's a sale on Tee Public this weekend. Yeah, go check that out. Check out our store. Give us some money. Yeah. Buy some shirts. For real. Because we're good like that. Also, we twi- we uh, str- Twitch. Twitch. Uh, <laughs> we streamed on YouTube yesterday. It's on uh, it's on demand right now. Yeah, go go check that out. Check let it us, out. Let us know what you think of us doing YouTube streaming, and just let us just talk to us, please. We're Thank lonely. you very much. Have a good week. Boom. Mainstream superhero comics need to keep changing and evolving if they're gonna survive, and if it has to be drastic, then it has to be drastic. The issue here is that for the first time, Marvel and DC are making these radical changes at the same time. And they're changes that go well beyond a simple costume redesign. Since Uncharted figured out the solution to this problem, why don't other games follow suit? That's how innovation works, right? Now, I am not a developer, so I would feel weird elaborating on collision and game development. 
Luckily, we have Brad Hines from IDOS Montreal, who was awesome enough to give us a little insight on the subject.